Let me ask you your, your thoughts as we head towards the end. I think it's not too early to talk about the end of 2019 and into 2020. Do you see more upside for equities or more upside for fixed income? Because both have had a pretty good 2019. Yeah, but, but both have been working pretty well this year. It's a bull market of, of, of everything in 20, 2019. Um, going into year end, uh, we see more value on the equity side of things. Uh, technical fa factors are supportive. Uh, flows haven't uh, poured in uh, equity markets uh, yet. We're still uh, in neg negative uh, outflows in, in those equity markets, contrary to bond markets, which uh, which have seen significant inflows. Uh, we have strong liquidity injections as well by central bank, uh, fe fe Fed uh, uh, since September, ECB, uh, ECB as well, BOG. Even the, the, the Bank of China is starting to uh, provide some more easing there. So supportive for equity markets. On fixed income markets, we have had a very strong rally on the rates on, on the rate side. So when credit markets are a bit more challenging on the value on the valuation side, so more value on equities on equities going forward. We okay, and let me pick up on that point around value because uh, you've referenced in your notes the the, 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 the constant conundrum between value mm -hmm. and growth. And so in a chart uh, we've prepared, we've got you know this is this is showing S and P 500 value index divided mm -hmm. by the growth index. So this is showing essentially the underperformance of value. So value has been doing very badly. This is over many years, and then just in the last few months maybe we started to hear a lot more people talking about whether it's time mm -hmm. for value to come back and you do see a bit of an uptick to the right hand side of the chart is it time for value to come back or not yet well we we, we would tend to think that it's a bit too early for for value to have a like kind of a sustained outperforming um, growth so um, glo globally uh, clearly those uh, hopes on the trade side, um, hopes that uh, the economic cycle is bottoming um, or, or helping those value, um, va value trades. But I mean, some parts of uh, I mean, so, some uh, boxes on, have not been checked yet for uh, value to fully uh, I mean, uh, behave, uh, behave properly over the, over the long term. One is uh, yield curve steepening, for instance. One is the dollar is pretty, uh, pretty strong uh, still, this, uh, still this, this, mo this morning. Fiscal easing is more talks at the moment than real, really implemented. So we'd need to see all those box checks for value to really outperform over the, lo over the long term.